U Salati i razgovor o politici američkom džezu sa norveškim trubačem Neil Peterom Overom koji producira i komponuje povezujući stilske ekstreme. Džez, ambijent, haus, elektroniku i breakbeat. And the name is, is, um, is just phonetic. What, what should we call this album? And I was sitting there with uh, Manfred Eicher and speaking and uh, he wanted it to be called Khmer Rouge. And I said, no, that's a, but Khmer is good. So, uh, because it has a sort of a yeah, nice sound in the world. I think it has, uh, at least from uh, from these records that has been. Uh, and the reason is that I have uh, uh, cooperated with more electronica people, so they have uh, put their uh, like people like uh, Raymond Pellissier, for instance, who works very electronic, and uh, he puts his his sort of fingerprint on the music and makes it more electronic. So, um, so that is the main reason. It's not because I want to be more electronic. And, uh... I mean, uh, just by living, uh, there is a sort of a political. Uh, it's a political statement. I mean, it, uh, if you don't give a shit, then it's also a political statement. So. I'm absolutely a political person here, and I um, I dislike uh, people who think that they know best all the time. People like uh, John Schofield, Herbie Hancock, Mike Brecker, Wayne Shorter. These people are wide open, doing things. Maybe they sometimes they they do it safe, you know, like they know if you do it like this way. But uh, still, they are uh, the greatest musicians there is. And they are uh, on a different level. They don't care so much about whether you play jazz or you don't play jazz, as long as it's music. I think if you go a bit uh, further down in the communication uh, level or the level of communication, then when people start to write about things or uh, these kind of things, then then it's easier to put things in genres. But if you just play, then don't need the, the language. So.